I want to give you today, dear brothers and sisters, seven milestones taken from the Quran, from the Book of Allah. If we act upon them with sincerity and determination, we will find happiness for sure by His permission. There's going to be a secret for you. I will leave that until the end of the talk. Principle number one, make sure that you give your second half due attention. What do I mean by your second half? Your second half, i.e. your soul, your soul. Any Muslim can tell you that we the human beings are made up of two components, a body, a physical body and a soul. And both of them require their food in order to live a content and happy life. Since the body was sourced from the earth, the food for that body is from the earth. As for the soul, it is extraterrestrial. Terrestrial. It wasn't created from planet earth. And therefore the food for that soul has to be from Allah in the form of revelation, Quran, Salah, Dua, Repentance, Hijab, Good Companionship. That is the food for the soul. A lot of us completely are unaware of what the soul sounds like when it calls out for food and we misread the messages. So the soul says, feed me and we end up feeding the body. So we become more miserable. You feel down, you feel depressed, you feel that you are within a pit of darkness, anxious. So what do we do? We turn to the fridge. What do we do? We book a vacation. We're misreading the messages. What is calling out for help is the soul, not the body, it is the soul. And this is why a lot of people turn to alcohol, drugs, because they can't deal with the sounds of the screams of the soul. And so they manage to quieten the scream of the soul for a short period of time. Then what happens? They wake up. Their senses come back to them and the screams of the soul return and now they are harsher and louder than before. People don't know what to do. And that is why people end up going to one of two destinations here. Either they give the soul the food that it has been yearning for the entire time, which is Islam and Quran and repentance and lowering the gaze, or either they find no way other than to claim their own lives. A'udhu Billah. Principle number two. Be a person who is satisfied with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chose for him, chose for her. So make your slogan in life, O oh Allah, if you are pleased with me, if you are happy, then I don't mind what you give me and I don't mind what you withhold. O oh Allah, just be pleased with me. Principle number three, be one who pardons, be one who forgives. al raghib he said, the sweetness involved in forgiving far greater than the sweetness of taking revenge. Allahu Akbar. Science is suggesting that those who are able to forgive and overlook the most, they are those who sleep best, best at night. And they have the lowest levels of cholesterol, lowest levels of blood pressure, and the least level of anxiety and depression related disorders. Allahu Akbar, in fact, Karen Swartz, who is an associate professor of psychiatry and behavioral sciences said that there is a major link and a major burden associated with being hurt and disappointed. Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam summarized this meaning beautifully in one bit of advice that he gave to a companion called Uqba son of Amir. He said to him, Oh, Uqba son of Amir, listen to this advice. Establish ties with those who've cut you off and give to those who've withheld from you and forgive those who have oppressed you. Allahu Akbar. Focus on that third one. Principle number four, be a person who differentiates between the means and the ends. Differentiate between the vehicle and the destination. What does that mean? You and I are not from here. Rather, Adam and Eve, they are not from planet Earth. They are from somewhere above. We will carry out a very short exam within our 50, 60 or 70 years. Then we shall die and meet Allah. And this examination theater called planet Earth will be deconstructed, never to be seen again. Be a person who differentiates between the means, dunya, and the ends, the hereafter and paradise. You will be a happy person. Principle number five, make sure that you are a person who correctly places his reliance and you will be a happy person. Make sure that the one who you depend upon meets two conditions, somebody whom you love a lot and somebody who can be relied upon. Why? Because you may love someone, but if they can't be relied upon, it's, you will struggle to continue with that person. The only one who will never let you down when you put your reliance upon him, he is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Principle number six, dear brothers and sisters, be a consistent Muslim, be a steadfast Muslim. Even when you make a mistake, repent. Any human being who believes that the happiness can be found at other than the doorstep of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has shown very bad expectations in Allah. Impossible. It is only with Him and obeying Him. Your soul's fatigue and exhaustion 
is directly linked to how far or close it is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be a consistent Muslim, consistent with your salah, consistent with your zakah, consistent, my sister, with the correct Islamic hijab, and you will find that happiness. Principle number seven, be with the people who live by these principles. And that's it. They are the people who you live with. They are your insurance if you wish. Make sure that they are your friends. They are your companionships. They are the people whom you speak with. And here is the surprise I wanted to share with you. Each and every one of these seven principles were taken from a surah from the Quran that you have memorized. Surah Al-Fatiha. A surah that has seven verses and we have taken a principle from each verse. We said principle number one for happiness. Be a person who shows due attention to his second half. Where is that taken from Surah Al-Fatiha? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You say that before eating, before drinking, things that serve the body. Principle number two. We said be a person of contentment, happy with what Allah Almighty has given him or her. Where is that taken from Surah Al-Fatiha? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the world. You say that when you are happy and when you are sad. 